Hello everyone, today we're going to do a carburetor tutorial for the T4 carburetor and um, one of the most important things is the pop-off pressure and um, if the carburetor has any leak um, or any dirt inside the carburetor and it st starts to, to lose pressure it's really important to, to fix this and um, so we have today obviously the carburetor which has a, a slight leak and uh, we have our pop-off gauge, we have our tools so we're going to go through each step that needs to be taken so here we show the carburetor. When we look at the gauge, it has a slight leak and we can just see it's seeping at each point. So this tells us on track it's gonna leak fuel and we're gonna have a problem with the performance. So we'll go through the steps to take. We just take off the carburetor top and we see here there's dirt, some dirt inside and um, this basically can be dirt from the fuel can which we we clean out uh, we normally need to clean this out which we can do after so we're just going to remove the diaphragm and inside we see that there's not really a lot of dirt but sometimes fuel when the fuel passes inside there can be a little bit of dirt um, passing down to the inlet needle or wear with with time also the inlet needle can actually wear and yeah we can see that there's a ring forming um, which normally we can clean this off and it might be okay to reseal but sometimes this ring can mean that the pressure is not perfect um, consistently and um, so at this point for me to, to get the pressure sealing again, many people will change the needle, the needle and seat completely. But for me, it's best to clean out the seat, not to fully replace, not to replace it initially, and to change the lever and to change the needle. And um, so we're just going to carry that out now. I'm just going to clean first of all uh, the the seat area. I have a new kit, so I'll just take out the new parts. So I'm just going to put to the side the new uh, seat and copper washer, which for me is not necessary now. We have a, a film, uh, which is like a Teflon coating, which I will always remove. It just helps the ceiling a little bit. We have the new lever. Need to fit the spring back. So when you fit everything new and, and with the new lever, it's important to check the position of the lever. Uh, referencing against the the metering chamber and um, typically we want to be flush or a fraction above which in this case we are and um, so for me the, the position at this point is good so it's best not to build the carburetor up fully we use here uh, an adapter tool which helps to, to test the pressure just when we change the, the new needle and, and lever So now that we, we've tested with the new needle, the new lever, the carburetor is sealing it a lot better to previously. It's perfect. So we're opening at 7.5 bar. That's the point where we're opening and it's sealing at about 0 0.55 to 0 0.6 bar. Where previously it was actually leaking under 0 0.5. So this is uh, better than previously. Yeah, we're just going to build the carburetor back up. Insert the gasket the right way. New diaphragm.
Now, there I've replaced only the, the new needle and also the, the control lever, the inlet lever. If after, when you fit this, if it still isn't repairing the leak, um, I would recommend that you, at that point, even try another needle and lever. Um, but if you're still struggling to get the sealing right, change the, the inlet seat because it's possible that the, the inlet seat is actually damaged. And so it's best to, to change it if you're still having problems having it sealing. We've cleaned the, the screen from any dirt that Now, okay, we also test, once we assemble everything back together, we'll also, it's important to test the pressure at the top of the carburetor. So again, we're happy that the carburetor is, is resealing uh, a lot better than what it had been. So a couple of other things that are very important for maintaining the, the best performance from the carburetor and the first one is, especially when the, the carb is off the engine, is to look for the butterfly position that it's hitting the stop in the correct point. So we see here, we're looking that it's not going over throttle. Um, in this point, when, we, when we look, we're looking against the throttle bore, uh, it's, it's perfect. You know, it should be at 90 degree angle to the throttle bore. Um, if it's not, we need to adjust the, the stop screw here and to make sure that it's in the correct position. What happens is when the, the throttle cable on the pedal, um, when the stop is not in the correct point, we'll stretch this, this point here um, because it's actually, uh, the stop on the pedal isn't correct, it will bend this. So we need to watch for that, it's quite important. Um, the next and one, I mean, the two biggest things that are most important for carburetor performance is the carburetor pop-off pressure, which, which we've checked. Um, the, the resealing pressure now, we're, we're very happy with it. Um, if it is leaking, it will affect performance on track. Um, and the next most important thing is the carburetor settings. So we're going to close the jet so that both jets are closed. And the recommended setup uh, for, for this carburetor for the T4 engine or for the T225 engine in USA we have the, this is using our quick jet tool, which is a great tool. Um, we're fully closed. We're gonna open one revolution, which is one turn. And then we're gonna go to 45. So it's 10, 20, 30, 40, it's 42, 44, and that's 45. Um, the range for the good operation for the low jet is starting at 145 and it can go up to 155 or even as much as two turns, especially in cold weather, um, because the engine really likes a lot of fuel. Um, and if to, to find the, the fine tuning on track, we recommend to adjust the low speed jet. If you have any bogging off the corner, it's normally when the engine is too lean and it's necessary to open this jet by at least five minutes uh, per, per adjustment. And um, for the high speed, we're going to open it to one turn. So now we're, we're set at one turn. The high speed at that setting is perfect. It's, it's not um, <coughs> necessary to adjust that often. Um, and we need to do most of our uh, jetting changes on the low speed jet, um, which is the most critical.